Hey y'all, it's Rita May June and I'm coming on today with a little bit of update. As you see, I have a bonnet on and I have decided to not pineapple my wash and goes anymore, but to just throw a bonnet on or either sleep on my satin pillowcase. The pineapple just wasn't doing it for me. It um, overly stretched the back of my hair and I have to spray it down and the maneuver it to get it too far right and it just wasn't working anymore um my hair goes through different trials when it likes something one minute and the next minute it don't so right now i am not pineapple in my wash and go i just threw on my bonnet i got this bonnet from ebony curls i had it for about a year now and it's holding up really really well so i'm just going to take my bonnet off and let you guys see how um i refresh my wash and go so I just took my bonnet off and um, this is the bonnet. I got it from Ebony Curls. Um, you can, it's called an e-bonnet. And you can get it from, I think, ebonycurls.com. But um, yeah, I just take my bonnet off and as you see, my hair is kind of smushed down and all of that. But um, it's very, very easy to revise. Um, let me see. So that's what I'm going to do. It spray a little bit of this oil sheen hairspray I got from Lusty's Organics and you can get this in the Dollar Tree. As you know, I'm really, really loving the Lusty's um, gel. I have that in my hair now. So, but this is not like your typical oil sheen spray. This is more so of a wet sheen. Um, you know, most oil sheen sprays is aerosol and it got a lot of alcohol in it. But this doesn't. This is like the first two ingredients, water and glycerin. So this is a very well, this is a very good refresher slash moisturizer. I really, really like it. I got it from the Dollar Tree. So if you see it, check it out. If you're a wash and go wear or even a twist wear, I think you'll really like it. So I just take that, shake it up, and lightly spray my hair. Alright, so that's all I need. I'm just going to shake it out. Shake it and fluff it out. Another reason I like just putting the bonnet on is so I can keep my curls intact. Um, like I said, when I pineapple it, I have to manipulate it a little bit too much. And that causes a lot of frizz. So, I got to watch it go in and Pull it and shape it how I want it to be. My mirror right here where I always look this way in my videos. So yeah, just pull it with my fingers. I don't like the pit, you guys. I don't like to hear that I don't like to hear that noise. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, I'm just fluffing it out. And my hair anyway, trying to pound out but to scratch it, it don't stay. It's going to shrink right back up just like this. So I might as well rock with it, roll with it, and let it do what it do. So that's it. I have refreshed my wash and go. Um, as you see, my curls are still intact. This is third day hair. Third day hair. I did my hair on Wednesday. Today is Friday. My second update is that I air dry this wash and go. Um, it's still a little damp, even though this is third day hair. It's still a little damp in the root. Um, not a lot, but just a little. But um, I really, really like the shape of my hair when I air dry um, my hair. The reason why I was diffusing my hair is, uh, for one, of course, it takes forever to dry. And um, I like instant results. Um, and plus, my hair, when it was drying, um, used to air dry before, it used to dry weird. Like, this side of hang, this side of shrink, this side of do that. You had like a mullet in the back. It used to dry, air dry in like a crazy shape. And I didn't like that, so I diffused my hair. That was another reason why, you know, I diffused my hair because of the shape. But now that my hair has grown out a bit, um, it kind of hangs a little bit more, so 
it shakes kind of like a bob like and I really really like it so I think I'm going to try to air dry for a bit especially while it's warmer because it's warmer here in Georgia so I think I'm going to go ahead and start air drying um, I know in the winter I will not be walking around with no damp hair I get sick really really quickly and cold really really quickly so I know that is out of the picture but um yeah I really like the results of these two things I switched up to the air drying and the just putting the bonnet on I really like it so um yeah And the third thing I want to share with you guys is I added some red to my hair. I'm not sure if you can see it that well. I think you can. Um, I'm going to show you the back of my hair too. This is what it's looking like. But yeah, I added some red to my hair because um, when you have... Because you, know, you guys know, well, I don't know if you know, but... Y'all should remember, you guys who've been following me for a while, <laughs> I colored my hair um, in the fall a red with some like orangey blondish highlights. And the red faded from that color, which red always fades anyway. So the red faded and it started looking kind of dryish, like dingy. You know how, okay, so my hair is like that sandy brown, so it always looked like dirty. So the color, the color was starting to look like dirty to me. I don't know, it just wasn't looking cute. So I know I wanted to stay red. I've been wanting to go red. But red is so much maintenance. Red fades so quick. Well, I said, you know, if I'm going to do this thing, I'm going to do this thing. I'm not walking around with that brassy looking color, that dry looking mess. So I decided to put a semi-permanent color on my hair. I use Kiss Express um, in the shade Crimson. And I really like the results. I hope you guys can see it. I'm going to try to make sure my thumbnail is the um, color that I took outside the other day. So, um, yeah, I used it. I got it from my local beauty supply store. It is was $4.99. And this is a semi-permanent color. Um, my hair, like I said, previously had color in it. So, that's why I had such a vivid color. You know, that's why it looks so vibrant. Um... If your hair is darker, your hair will not be as vibrant and vice versa. If your hair is lighter, it will be more vibrant. Um, I have some pieces where I had the highlight set that is a lot lighter than the pieces that were just colored with the color, which I really, really like that. Um, the different shades and, and all of that. So, um, yeah, I plan to stay red for a while whenever my... Um, Permanent color, the the color I use to lift my hair, whenever that grows out, I just add in different shades of highlights so I can still have the same kind of look, you know. So, yeah, there are, there are my updates. Um, no demo on this because you basically just slap it on, put some Vaseline around your edges, slap it on, let it sit, and rinse it out until the water, water runs clear. It's no rhyme or reason or technique to putting this on. I don't have one anyway. But um, I did do mine on dry hair. The direction says to do it on clean hair. But um, I found for my low porosity hair that semi-permanent colors and things like that tick better on my dry hair than it does my wet hair. So that's the only difference that I did. Um, but other than that, um, these are my updates. I don't want to make this video too long because I know I talk a lot, y'all. <laughs> but I just wanted to update you guys. Before things change, well, y'all know how I do. I change it up, switch it up real quick. <laughs> so, um, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or anything, please leave it down below. And then I'll talk to y'all later. Alright, bye.